Welcome back Guardians. Hope all of you are doing well. This is going to be a huge video and you're not one going to miss it. We're going to talk about so many things with Revenant. We're going to talk so much. We're going to talk about a lot of things. Maybe some teasers to the next Darkness subclass. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Again, I don't want to make a huge video about that again until I have more credible evidence and all that stuff. I know that has been a very, you know, poured out subject that I put on this channel. Way too many videos on it. We got Prismatic and Final Shape. We're happy. We'll talk about the Red subclass. Hopefully because I know it's going to happen one day. We'll talk about it later on, maybe in like 2028. But in this video, we're really going to talk more about Revenant and maybe some teasers to the Darkness subclass. But other than that, I would really appreciate if all of you could subscribe. We're going to grind to 35k soon. I would love if all of you could smash that subscribe button a million times today. That would mean a lot. We're trying. We've been going down a little bit low in the last couple of videos. Let's get it back up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get, let's get this grind going and let's get excitement going please be sure to join our discord and let me know your thoughts on revenant in the comments i want to hear all about what you guys are thinking about this is one of the episodes i'm most anticipated for and i cannot wait to see what bungie does can we talk about how it will involve potions vicryl it will involve more of that you know vampire-ish fantasy and i'm all digging it so let's get right into it so i want to just get a disclaimer out real quick when i'm talking about echoes i more mean the physical manifestations of the witness memories not the episode i just want to get the disclaimer out so with revenant which will be releasing on october 6th if my to be corrected very early october we're gonna really go into echoes we're gonna there was gonna be way more about it since the conclusion of the first episode we'll really talk about it but once we get into revenant it will really you know start to build up and that's what these echoes are and which will likely lead us to the darkness subclass sometime in the future now with this echo vicral wields in revenant holds the quote-unquote memory of corruption now obviously scorn corrupting other scorn the whole vampire gimmick that we have seen with some of the teasers already kind of is already acknowledging that these echoes apparently are a memory of some sort of power or some sort of memory of something and that's why it's it's keen to know what it is so this echo is more with the memory of corruption this memory relates to the original corruption of the worm gods and this is where it gets interesting. It will contain, this whole episode will contain a confrontation with multiple worm gods. It's supposed to be their end of the story. There was many teasers, many hints that the worm gods were going to be in Lightfall and Final Shape. They were basically in nothing. So this Revenant episode is really going to be with a lot of the worm gods that we've seen over the course of this Line Dark Saga now. Now Revenant's really going to focus on which is kind of curious because you would think that Revenant would, I mean, that heresy would focus on it, but more like the Worm Gods are going to focus a lot with Revenant. We start some cinematics, it's going to be a lot like that. Now, this new Scorn Vampiric-like powers and abilities will be able to siphon energy from players' abilities. Now, this is very interesting, because this is going to really put in some new gameplay perspectives and sort of the new activities that we're going to get within Revenant, which is also really cool. Now again, Monster Hunter themed, we already know this. It's again, it's going to be very Monster Hunter themed within the episode. And it's going to be very interesting to see what they do with it. And I cannot wait to see, again, with all the armor, with all the weapons, what they do. Now, we will apparently also see that Amanda comes back in this episode. Again, we got to be a bit optimistic here. But we saw Aldrin, who everyone hated, come back as the crow. Again, a lot of people don't want to see Amanda or Respion ever come back due to them actually dying in a more peaceful and more in just a very important way to the story and the narrative they don't want Bungie to ruin that so you might not see them come back but it's being told here that Amanda will come back in this episode but there won't be any major deaths in this episode either so it's very interesting Vicryl plans to send his army towards the last city and Dreaming City as revenge and he will fail in the king obviously because we're that good at the game but a siege in the city will happen now i've been asking for a siege in the city to happen since the red war and it's not been the same thing we didn't really get a siege in sort of lightfall at all because the traveler left and we didn't even get really too much of siege in into the light we start some little things with the onslaught activity but we didn't get that sort of narrative or that sort of destination or that world we really wanted to see the city to fall again 
Brevident is where we might get a better opportunity of it actually happening. We saw our Vic Rule has all these cash crash. We see all these pyramid ships in the background. This huge army that he's just going to barrage. So it looks like he's going to just destroy the living shit of the last city in Dreaming City all together as revenge. And it's really important to his story. I think it's going to be really cool. Again, this is going to be a story where it's going to be like back and forth with Crow and Vicroll, the two main big characters that I see. They're really going to go back and forth with each other. And that's really cool. Again, that's what's going to happen. Spider, Varix, Crow, and Petra will all be involved in the episode. But again, that's pretty reasonable for a fallen themed episode there will be one new exotic mission we already know this this was sometime it's gonna look like it's gonna release on a same thing with echoes where it's gonna be the third act of the episode which a lot of people are still having some controversy about they kind of want it now so we'll see how that goes so we won't see it until later on Three new activities, one per act, which is very reasonable too. We will get a new dungeon in this episode, which is what's being told here. It's going to be that the start of Act 1 could be any time from Week 1 to Week 6. We just don't know a lot of info about it, but it looks like it might be involving the Awoken sort of tower that we saw in the Tangled Shore back in Forsaken. Maybe a new revamped version of that for Vicryl. One activity is apparently a full-on monster hunt and tracking across the destination, so maybe think of... Wrathborn hunts but way cooler way awesomer and just not crap that's how i think of it a reprise raid is very unsure right now but again we have to be optimistic that it could happen sometime in this episode a new great sword weapon archetype which will be heavy but slow slashes izanagi swords burst damage very interesting pieces there with Revenant altogether. Now, that's a lot of the narrative that you might have expect, that you might think that might tr come true. Again, you got to take it with a grain of salt, but these are things that we should see. But I want to put, I want to pull back real quick and look at the echoes for a second. Now, echoes again, like I said earlier, are physical manifestations of the witness memories. There will be an echo with the heresy sort of ex uh, episode. That is going to probably be somewhere near either the Dreadnought or the Ascended Plane. Whatever that epi whatever that Echo is, we're going to talk more about it in another episode in another video for Heresy. But it's going to have something similar to how this would be the sort of memory of corruption here that we see here. Now these Echoes are really going to come in play with how the Frontiers expansion quotation mark is going to be in 2025. Now, what's really cool about these Echoes is that apparently they're going to tie in to what that next subclass is and what those powers will maybe be. Now, again, we don't know too much about what the aftermath of these episodes will be after Vicryl's kill, after the Vex, whoever that guy is in the episode is, whoever, Zidu, whoever it is in the Dreadnought, after we kill or take these Echoes, we don't know what happens next. Do we take them? Do we consume them? We don't really know until we have to get to that point. But apparently, it's the bridge between what we are going to get in the Third Darkness subclass, the tie-in between what the abilities would likely be from the old races that the Witness demolished all those centuries ago. This third darkness subclass, again, is still in development and is likely not going to be revealed or announced anytime soon. However, Frontiers would be the best opportunity for them to reveal that these next echoes that we see across the galaxy, if we're going to go off the solar system, go into a new galaxy, if you will, would likely be. Again, there's a lot of different worlds in the whole world galaxy of the Destiny universe. this new power that's what's being tossed around in a lot of speculation recently however it's definitely something we should look at because these echoes don't just are an echo if you will they are again have a memory to hold with some sort of power and that power is what can be built on to give us 
again, a darkness subclass. Remember, these are all about consciousness, not about the physical manifestations that we see with arc, solar, and void. These are, again, about the mind, and that's what really tied in likely with strand, with stasis, so it makes a lot of sense to see the last darkness subclass with the mindset of consciousness. Three dark, three lights, one being prismatic, up and above being the number seven, makes it all even. Hope you guys enjoy. We're going to talk about more. Don't you worry. Heresy is coming up next, but it's definitely something I wanted to point out to you all because it's it gets get hype because it's going to be a lot coming this way for Revenant coming in October.